Valium. What is it used for and what are the side effects? In today's video, I'm going to be looking at the scientific research behind Valium, discussing how it works and if it's safe, so that by the end of this video, you'll know whether or not you should be using Valium. Hey there guys, I'm Jesse Crow, the Travelling Scientist, and after spending years studying pharmacology, I'm here to help you live smarter, happier, and healthier lives. Now I've created a cheat sheet with all the quick need-to-know information about Valium, and that's totally free, you can download it anytime, it's just in the description down below. So what is Valium? Valium, also known as diazepam, is a benzodiazepine drug that produces a calming effect. It's used to treat anxiety, insomnia, and even seizures. Valium works by binding to GABA ion channels and promoting GABA activity in your nervous system. See, GABA is an inhibitory neurotransmitter, which I actually already made a video about, you can check it out just here. But by promoting GABA activity, Valium effectively inhibits the nervous system reducing excitement signals and effectively calming the body and the brain. Ooh. The standard dosage of Valium is usually two or five milligrams, maybe 10 milligrams, but it depends on the individual. So definitely talk with your doctor before you start using Valium. But what are the side effects of Valium? Valium can cause dizziness, drowsiness, weakness, and confusion, which is no surprise. Valium is a relaxant. It's supposed to calm you down. Ooh. So yeah, it might make you a little bit sleepy. But it's important to know that Valium is a potent drug. It's not a natural anxiety supplement like GABA or L-theanine. It's produced in a laboratory specifically to relax your nervous system. And it works. So if you take too much Valium or you combine it with other drugs, it can have really serious side effects. Don't take Valium with alcohol. It will amplify the effects, which can lead to respiratory depression and loss of consciousness. Basically, you could pass out and stop breathing. Ooh. Another thing to be careful with is, wait for it, grapefruit. That's right, grapefruit. It's metabolized by an enzyme called CYP3A4, which also metabolizes Valium. So if you eat some grapefruit and then take a Valium, Metabolism is slowed and you absorb more of the drug, making it way more potent. And if you decide to take some Valium and wash it down with a vodka grapefruit juice, that's just a really bad idea. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> Seriously, don't do that. Finally, if you use Valium regularly, you can build up a tolerance, which means you'll need to take more of the drug to get the same calming effect. Now this can be really dangerous and lead to an overdose. So if you find yourself taking Valium regularly, try and find an alternative relaxant and seek some help. In conclusion, Valium is a drug that calms your nervous system by promoting GABA's inhibitory activity. Valium can help you relax in stressful situations, but it can also make you kind of sleepy and a little silly. Valium can also be addictive and really dangerous if you take too much of the drug or you combine it with other drugs. So be very careful when using Valium and talk to your doctor before taking it. Anyway, that's all for today guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button down below and let me know what you think about Valium and if you use it in the comments section down below. Finally, next week's video is going to be all about Adderall. So make sure you subscribe for more traveling signs every single week. I'll see you guys next Science Sunday. Cheers.